Hello and welcome back. This is now part six, I believe. And as I have promised, you know, I got my uh, weapon leveled up to uh, plus ten. So here we are at plus ten. Um, we also picked up some items last time. Well, by items, I mean another weapon that I didn't even get a chance to read. I never even read the Astora Straight Sword. So, you know... Straight sword of an unknown knight, likely one of Astora's superiors. High quality weapon with a powerful blessing. Um, didn't read that one. I also did not read this one, the man serpent greatsword that we picked up in the last episode. So, okay. This single bladed blood stained greatsword, that was an interesting sentence, is the choice weapon of the slithering serpent men of Sing Sen's fortress. An ordinary human will have great difficulty swinging this heavy beast effectively. So that was pretty cool. Alrighty. So I guess with that, then, you know, we're ready. So let's go ahead and enjoy the coming cutscene that will be appearing. I still think that's one of the coolest cutscenes, you know, you just get to see Golden and Orlando still covered in sunlight. It's just so cool. It is just such a cool scene. Alrighty, now that we're here, you know, we have, um, I think at least two or three characters that we have to meet at least. You know, so it's going to be an interesting, interesting journey. So, we're gonna go ahead and skip past these guys because, you know... They're going to slap real hard. We'll go ahead and grab this bonfire. I'm not sure if it's already at plus 10. I hope it's at plus 10. But let's go ahead and talk to the firekeeper here. Well... You are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anorlando, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit you. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Interesting. Let's have a chat with her. Hmm. What is it? What am I? Well, I am the keeper of the bonfire. If not for me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. That is my calling. Hmm. Gatekeeper and a guide. The bonfires attended by the keepers are special. They are linked to one another, and their flames never die. Yet never shall the keepers of these flames meet. Interesting bit of lore there. If you require rest, now is the time. That is, after all, what the bonfire is for. <laughs> That's so cool. Alrighty. And it also gave us an extra Estus flask. You know, I, I really want to know the mechanics, so if any of you, like, actually know that, or I guess I could just look it up, you know, I'd be really interested in knowing why I get extra, um, uh, Estus flasks every now and then. So, alrighty, here we go. Ah, such a cool, <laughs> such a cool elevator. The city of the giants. This is so cool. I love this place. Alright, first things first. 
it's time to feed the first boss again. Well, one of the first bosses. Oh, I got another gargoyle tail like that's hilarious. R1 spam for days. Alright, that works out. Ooh, and a gargoyle helm this time. We'll go ahead and read that here in a second. Let me just go over here and see what this is. Oh, more demon tonight tonight, okay. All right, so uh, I can read this gargoyle helm. Helm of the gargoyle, an enchanted creature that guarded the bell of the awakening in the belfry of the undead church. This, this bronze helm was for mere appearance sake as gargoyle skin is naturally hard, little in the way of defense can be expected from it. When I actually first came here, I got so lost, I had absolutely no idea where to go. You know, I was like, what am I supposed to do? Where am I going? Why am I running around in circles? And it was just so confusing, and I just could not find it for the long time until someone until I read someone's sign I think that was like right here that said this way and I was like wow so I thought that was pretty cool all right so we have to meet the painted guardian friends for a second I didn't think I was gonna make it right there there you are <laughs> I guess it's not really nice to backstab them, but, you know, it's you or me. And for the longest time, I had the biggest problem with this area. I was like, wow, you gotta be kidding me. Painted guardians everywhere. But I think we're gonna be just fine. Hopefully. First time I actually jumped down on that thing. Definitely not the smartest thing to do. Alrighty, so this is the one that I'm actually a little bit worried about. Because I don't want both of them to come at me. I just want one of them. Alright, that was fine. And we just have this last one to deal with. Alrighty, easy. Let's deal with this guy too. They're a lot easier to fight when they're, you know, are on a ground that I can actually depend on not falling off on, so. Alright, well that was a lot easier than I expected it to be, so. Here we are. I believe we got one more gargoyle. Yep, there he is. So we'll go ahead and get him good and pissed off Let's see if I can get another tail axe kind of doubt it Oh, I chopped it off, but no tail axe. Ooh, we got a gargoyle shield and a halberd this time. 
So let's go ahead and read that. Let's see, where would the halberds be? I apologize for how much crap is just in here. Gargoyle Halberd. Halberd of the Gargoyle guarding the Bell of Awakening in the Undead Church. Perfectly standard bronze halberd without any special power. It's kind of funny that they say it's the Undead Church, even though that he is here. So let's uh, Gargoyle Shield. Bronze Shield of the Gargoyle guarding the Bell of the Awakening in the Undead Church. The Gargoyle's skin is tough by itself, and perhaps its shield may have been a prop for its rare example of a metal shield that does not reduce physical damage 100%. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, it's this area. You know what? We'll actually forget about this for now. And I'm not sure if we need to do anything to go see Gwendolyn. So... I guess we'll hold off on Gwendolyn until after this entire area. If that makes any sense. Alright, so now we are here. And of course there's going to be a bunch of things that say Bonfire. Dark Souls 3. I might have said it in an earlier episode, but Dark Souls 3 is actually where I got my start to the Souls games. And I waited for um, this remaster before I decided to go ahead and try any of the Souls games. I mean, I waited for the remaster before, you know... Ooh. Let me just finish these guys and then I can speak English. Hopefully. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna die. Oh, there's two of them. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's actually get this. So, it's, like I said, Dark Souls 3 is what I started with. And I was actually going to buy Dark Souls 1 after I bought and played Dark Souls 3. So... But then I heard about this remastered coming out, so I just decided, you know, to not buy the Prepare to Die edition and to wait for the remaster. And, you know, I would say that it has been worth it. I am kind of sad that the community, it seems like the online community has died in this. You know, it was a not really well planned by whoever decided to re-release it. You know, If it had been done again in Dark Souls Engine and, you know, kind of a Dark Souls 3 engine, sorry... And, you know, with the omnidirectional rolling and, you know, their online play and whatnot, I think this would have gotten a lot better reception than it did um, with its initial launch. You know, it did seem like kind of a cash grab, which was kind of unfortunate. But, you know, that's not necessarily the whole point of this. You know, we're trying to get to the gargoyle boys and try not to die this time like an idiot because I totally forgot there is one gargoyle that is just sitting in the corner back over there. So. Round two. Maybe I can run away over here, and maybe that'll not interest him so much, hopefully. Yeah, he's not interested anymore. Okay, perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead and try this again. Let's only piss off one of them. There we go. Gotta love when you miss the initial swipes. So this is the guy I want to piss off next. You know, it's actually funny because, you know, they can fly, but if they fall off the edge, they will die. I 
I had no idea they had lightning throws. There we go. Much easier. Alrighty, here we go, bud. Oh, he actually got me. Did not anticipate that. Alright. Oh, I did it again, didn't I? There we go. It's kind of funny. It makes you wonder why they, like, even blew you in here just to attack you again. Okay, which one's first? Oh, dang it. Oh, this is bad. Get out of the way. There we go. Alrighty, Andy, as usual. Typical... Dark Souls fashion. <laughs> Gotta love that. A homing... Uh, <laughs> All you gotta do is make it up to him. That's it. There we go. See where we are. Perfect. First things first. Or is, no, that that's definitely the one I want to be in. <laughs> so we are here with our friend Solaire. Which is always nice to have a friend here. Let's go ahead and level up first. Let's definitely get more faith going because we definitely, well, maybe, yeah, we definitely need to get our store straight sword, you know, to a good position. So, this is going to be really interesting. So, yeah, let's just go ahead. I'm also going to kindle this bonfire as well, so that means I'm going to use a twin humanity. And you know, I could could get invaded in here. That might be fun. So we'll see what happens. It is. We have kindled the flame. Alrighty. So, I don't want to progress his quest line just yet, so I'm not going to chat with him. And you will see why later, because I want to actually get to a point where, you know, this actually matters in the playthrough. So, um, we're just going to ignore him for now, which is kind of sad, I know. Alright, so let's continue on. Oh, wow, he trolled me. I always thought this little down area was pretty cool. You know, you're just like, what is all of this crap down here? And then, oh, that's a mimic. So we'll ignore that for right now. So we have the Dragon Tooth. Hovel's Great Shield. Hovel's Helm and Hovel's Armor. 
Hobble's gauntlets and Hobble's leggings. So, you know what? Let's try it. Let's try the mimic. Oh, this is good. The Occult Club. So, let's go ahead. Let's read about the Dragon Tooth. Let's see. Oh, and the Occult Club. So, the Simple Wooden Club. This simple bladeless strike weapon is effective against most foes. It is easily handled and can break the guard of a shield. However, a single miss makes one wide open, so timing and proximities are crucial. Dragon Tooth. Created from an everlasting Dragon Tooth. Legendary Great Hammer of Hollow the Rock. The Dragon Tooth will never break as it is harder than stone, and it grants the wielder resistance to magic and flame. So, you know, let's uh, read about his armor, which I'm not sure. Oh, here it is. Okay. Armor worn by Hovel the Rock's warriors, carved from solid rock. Its tremendous weight is matched by only the defense it provides. Hovel's warriors never flinched nor retreated from battle. Those unfortunate, unfortunate enough to face them were inevitably beaten to a pulp. So, when I fought Ornstein and Smo for the first time, I actually equipped that armor and you know it, it really didn't come that useful which was kind of unfortunate so I believe that door we can't actually open so we'll just go ahead continue on up I'm trying to figure out where this knight is I can hear him. Oh, that hurt a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and heal. Second. Sorry about that. Let's see. You know, we had good luck with the last mimic, but you know, I'm not gonna necessarily risk. Seems interesting. Yeah, let's go ahead and just go up this way, I guess. I'm assuming there's going to be... Yep. Just as I thought. guy Good parry Let's go meet our other friend here. Whatever can be done. Ah, you again. Let me guess. Were you repelled by the Silver Knight? Oh, don't be ashamed. Tis the fate of vanguards like you and I. I'll think of something. We can overcome this.
which is quite a thing. You need another three, no, maybe five bodies. Hmm. Quite a fix indeed. Which is quite a thing. Hmm. Alrighty, well here we go. Oh. Oh man. Easy enough when you can just do that, I guess. Oh, that was really close. Oh. If he had actually gotten that swipe, I would have been done. Well, let's grab one of them. Which one of you? There we go. That was bad. get this heal just in case oh he did it again all right seems like a safe chest again you gotta love this portrait that is so cool All right, now let's talk to our friend again. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh ho! What's on your mind, friend? Wait. You defeated those monsters? Fantastic. I'm saved. This knight of Katarina hereby commends you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Tiny Being's Ring. Be warned. Gallantry entails great risk. Next time, give me a chance to come up with a plan. But be warned. Next. Well, let's read about this ring that he gave us. Ring made of an ancient tiny red jewel. Grants small increase to HP. Grants Wow. Ring grants power large and small. Their discovery and effective use can make one's journey easier. Well, that's a nice ring. So we gotta, we're gonna thank him for that. So, alrighty. With that, you know, all we have left, I believe, is just to open up uh, one shortcut down here, and then, oh yeah, we can get the Silver Knight's armor. I like that armor set to run with. So, not gonna fight him for a bit. So let's get this extra heal going. Let's get him nice and angered. <clears throat> Need to get him out here in the open. It's the only place I want to fight him. Come on. Come on, you're almost there. You can do it. There we go. Oh, this was almost a bad place to be. This is a bad place to be. Here we go. Alright, we just have him to deal with left. Actually got a good poke in there. Silver Knight's gauntlets and the Silver Knight's leggings. Silver Knight helm and the Silver Knight armor. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> excuse me, read about it. Silver Knight armor, armor of the Silver Knights who protect Anor Lomdo. When Lord Gwyn departed to link the fire, his knights split into two groups. The Silver Knights remained in their forsaken capital in the service of their goddess. And you know. I really like this armor, but we'll see. I just want to make sure that it, we're not going to be fat rolling, because I have a feeling that we will be.
Oh, we're not fat rolling, which is nice. So this gives us a little bit more poise, a little bit more armor, and, you know, it also makes us look a little bit cooler. You know, we need to, we need to have the fashion souls going for us as well. Alright, so we're going to pay one more visit to this friend right in here. Since we actually never challenged him head on, so let's go ahead and do that. find out in here is a sunlight metal for some reason. Three of them. No idea why. So we'll go ahead and let's light this bonfire. I mean, rest at the bonfire. And then level up. And you know what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go with vitality on this one. So... What we need to do before we even challenge Ornstein and Smo is get our fire kicker back. Ah, oh, he did it again. You would you guys are probably laughing at me every time I fall for that too. So we'll just leave him there to just guard whatever he feels like he needs to guard. We'll leave him alone. I believe once we step in here... Oh, not yet. Not yet. Okay, that's interesting. Well, let's go ahead and... There it is. The Feel the Black Eye Orb Quivering. But before anything, let's go ahead and open this up. For that, we also have one more friend we need to visit. A very important friend. <laughs> uh, love this guy. Oh, Twinkling Titanite, so I need 8k each one, which is kind of, ooh. So, what I definitely want to do, though, is the repair box. You know, that has been a long time waiting, so. <clears throat> Let's see if he has anything to say. Tis no good, but forge very good, I know. <laughs> I didn't realize that he had the same, like, I help any, well, I guess I shouldn't say the same, because realistically, it's in Dark Souls 3 that took that voiceover, so, when he says he helps any time, you know, that's not the, that's not from Dark Souls 3, is what I meant to say, I thought it was. Forgive me for being such a pleb and not knowing that. I'm actually kind of sad I didn't. Alright, here we go. No, oh, I thought he was going to hit me. Oh, come on. This is not good. 
get that heal. Oh. I guess... Yep. Okay. Titanite chunk. Alrighty, now... This is probably going to go very terribly for me. Because... <clears throat> he has... I believe the guy that we are going to try and kill has two buddies with him and those two buddies are obviously going to be very difficult to try and you know get uh, cornered by themselves so I'm gonna go ahead and come out here and grab this bow it might help us might not I'm uh, thinking it's not going to help us at all Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, that, that gave me a fright. But, you know, we have a really good um, sword right now. Like, it's actually really, really good. So, that's something that we can account on with the damage. But I'm still afraid because the damage that the sorcerer and I believe the archer does is actually ridiculously huge. Oh, I did not know this is where you summon Solaire. Oh, okay. Can I actually use this? So we're gonna go ahead and just try it, you know? I believe I'm going to die. 100% believe I'm going to die. Yeah, so you can see. You can see from right here. That he's got two other people with him. So, we'll give it, we'll give it an honest shot, you know? Worst thing that happens is we die. Interesting why they aren't attacking. So let's try and figure out how to do this. Need to get that heal, but that was a bad heal. Okay, got the... I believe that was the hardest one to deal with. These two shouldn't be that big of a deal. Seems like Lotric his heals. So let's figure out how we do this. I could have killed him. That was it right there. Oh, dang it. I knew not to fall for that, too. Now I'm going to have to do that all over again. Oh, all righty. Here we go again. No big deal. I know there's a jump that you can take from, like, right here, but I honestly do not know the hack, but we can try it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, it looks like I did it, except now I've got the friend there, so we'll see. Let's try it again. I like how I do it the first time, and then the second, third, fourth time, no dice. It's almost faster at this point to just, you know, uh, go over for the ring night. Yeah, okay, I'm going to give it one more shot, and then we're going to just run. 
Yep. Okay. Ow. Would be best to start when fighting Lotric with full health. that <laughs> that guy was definitely keen on coming after me it's, it's all right oh, not hobbles armor uh, another thing that I'd like to try though is um, my big boy sword but I'm not sure if I will light roll or <clears throat> excuse me heavy roll oh it looks like I'm in a heavy roll with it I'm not sure. Okay, so that will make me light roll. So, but I still need some sort of protection. Okay, so let's let's roll with this. Let's see what happens. We definitely need to take care of the sorcerer first. That was incredible. That was a lot of damage. Alright, that's done. That's parryable. Interesting. I had no idea that was parryable. If I had known that was parryable, I would not have fallen for it. Definitely need to get some heals. Let's take care of him. Souvenir of reprising. That was, I would say, was worth um, getting all of that done. So. Now we got her soul back. We got the ring of favor and protection and five humanity. And we got our Estus restored. So. You know, with that being said. I believe it is now time to take on Ornstein and Smo. And then that should be that, hopefully. Ooh, of course that would happen. So let's go. Let's give this a shot. Oh yeah, this this sword does a lot of damage. I had totally forgotten about that. Oh man, if only I could, you know, get a chance. The dodges? Come on, Ornstein. Not you, Smo deal with you after oh 
Oh, that hurt. Oh, I'm dead. Two hours later. So I've been recording this for the past three and a half hours now. And, you know, I'm just honestly just trying to get to this next part. You know, let's just move on, get on with the story. But, you know, sometimes you run into these very difficult bosses and, you know, you just end up. Now, I firmly believe that these guys are probably, besides Manus, the hardest boss in the entire game. So I apologize for being stuck here for so long. I can guarantee that with any other boss in the game that I won't be stuck nearly as long as this part. Um, obviously you've seen a sped up version of this and you know I thank you for you know being patient here. Um, kinda hoping that this is the one so we'll see. I've probably said that about 40, 50 times now you know so we'll see what ends up happening. Alright let's do it again. Get a heal. I did not think I was going to survive that. Let's get a heal. That was actually really lucky. I thought I was going to get out of that. Cannot see Nordstein or Smo. I mean, I got him. Sometimes trading blows is worth it. Other times it's not. But that time was definitely worth trading the blow. Maybe I should attack Smo here. Hey, got Ornstein. I'm just gonna heal. Just to be safe. Alrighty, so let's do it. That was a little terrifying. So that was good. That was a good hit. So we're just going to try and play it safe here. You know, I want to bait out whatever attack that I can. And then go in for attack. This time, he's just not, he's just not behaving. Come on, Smo. This is a good hit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He has this jump attack that if he lands on you, you are pretty much gone. Like, that is it. And that is the attack I definitely want to avoid. I have no idea why I jump. That, not that attack. And I'm glad he jumped away instead of jumped up. That one barely touched me. So I'm going to get a heal. Because his jump attack insta-kills me. It's a 
Good hit. Can't be greedy. Can't be greedy. When you're greedy, that's when you die. Alright, here we go. Get the hit. Perfect. Let's see if we can bait out an attack. Come on. That's all we want to do. We just want to bait out these attacks. Alright, hopefully one more hit and he's gone. Should be it. There we go. Victory achieved. Uh, I want to thank you guys again. Definitely thank you guys for sticking it out. Like I said, you would have seen a speeded, sped up version of this, but I can tell you, this was this was no walk in the park. This was very very difficult. Um. But as, I knew as soon as we got to the second phase, and the more I learned about it, the, the easier it would be. So I'm just really glad that that is done. So, all right, let's get back to our normal Silver Knight set, and let's go meet our other NPC. Perhaps one of the most important NPCs in the game. For that, we're definitely gonna level up. So we definitely need these faith. I think we need. Let's uh, actually check. The Astora sword. We need 14 faith. So. Ah, oh, of course. Sorry about that. So let's uh, get our 14 faith, and that's that. We're not gonna touch that ever again. Let's do some more vitality and then one more endurance. You know, we need this so much. Alrighty. And, uh, well, I should probably repair the equipment, but that's okay. This is always a fun part. So let's go ahead and meet her. Thou hast journeyed far and overcome much chosen undead. Come hither, child. O oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day the father his form did obscureth, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. By the power of the Lord Vessel, you may now warp between bonfires. Oh, that is so nice to have. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inherited the fire of our world. Thou shalt end it this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. O oh, chosen undead, thou hast journeyed far. So let's go ahead and talk. Let's see what she needs Since to the say. Day the father his form did obscureth, I have awaited thee, once living, now undead, and a fitting heir to Father Gwyn thou art. O oh, chosen undead, and beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inherited the fire of our world. A grave and arduous test of metal, yea, it shall be. Indeed, we had felt the warmth of fire, its radiance and the life it sustaineth. Without fire, all shall be a frigid and frightful dark. Now thou shalt go forth, chosen undead. May thou be one with the sun. That's so cool. Alrighty. Um, let's see where we can warp to. I don't think... Oh, we can go to Firelink Shrine. Hopefully. Yeah, so let's warp to Firelink Shrine. And you know what? We need to get 
our um what's it called firekeeper bat and after that we'll just go ahead and have a chat with some of the people around here and then we'll call it an episode so thank you again so being here with me so let's go ahead and examine we'll return her soul and let's have a chat with her thank you I'm Anastasia of Astora. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. Forgive me. I have been pure. My tongue never intended for restoration. Please. If you have any heart, leave me be. I wish not to speak. Makes you wonder what she did and why, you know, she was killed in the first place. So, let's talk to our friend here. He's decided to journey here. Well, fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gate, the old fortress. Is that your doing? It was our doing. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This knight of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Met force. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> there you are. I'll be There's no <laughs> so let's go ahead and read this miracle, I guess. Outland miracle foreign to the way of white. Emit shockwave. Considered an alternate branch of force, emits an expanding shockwave aura. Okay, that's pretty neat. Let's see who else is here. Oh, it looks like we got Logan and our friend is here. Oh, hello again. I was waiting to tell you. Master Logan has returned, and he tells me that he has you to thank. Well, we are both in your debt now. Thank you, sincerely. He's just over there. Go along and have a chat. Well, let's go and have a chat. Hello there. I was expecting you. As promised, I will share my sorceries. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that you are unable to learn sorcery. The basic framework, you see, it cannot be taught. Oh, do not fret. Life isn't all about sorcery. You will find your own way. Don't frown with regret. Peer forward with your head high. Well, looks like we're not intelligent enough to learn any sorceries, but, you know, I will take the time and go ahead and get enough intelligence. Again, we're not going to speak with him because we did grab a certain spell, and I do not want to progress his quest line yet. And it seems our friend is still here. And we still have uh, Firekeeper, f I mean, uh, Kingseeker Framp, I guess. So, I guess, you know, we'll just call it here. You know, this is a very good, very long episode. Um, again, I'm really glad you all stuck around for it. And apologize for how many times I died to Ornstein and Smo. And, you know, we'll continue on the next episode with King Seeker Framp. And he'll tell us a little bit more about what we need to expect with our duty and then we'll just continue on from there i thank you for joining me and i will see you in the next one goodbye